Getting a very white backdrop or a background which is purely white can be very difficult to actually gain when you are shooting in a studio. When you're shooting outdoor, most of the time you might have it easy because the light can you know blast everywhere and might be uniform. But when you're shooting in a studio setting, your light might cause some shadows in some areas that you might not want, and it might be very difficult when it comes to post-processing and you need to remove those shadows. So I'm going to show you two techniques that you can use to master how to get your white background looking as white as it can possibly be. And also, um, there's a video over here that I've actually talked about as part of the tips I'm going to share with you, which you can, you know, check it out and, you know, learn for the most part what it's all about. So let's go to the first tip, which is the setup that I actually did for this particular shoot where my subject is wearing black and she's dark skinned so it makes it very easy to look at the contrast and separate the subject from the background so with my white backdrop as white as you can see it with my light setup i might have some shadows happening there which i might not like so this is basically how i put it together i have a light coming from above over the head of my subject which is my key light and i use a very huge softbox to give me a very soft large light source to hit my background to make it whiter so i exposed for the background to make sure that my background was very white and um, with the use of another softbox up above i was able to produce a much more softer light from above coming down to my subject so that i could eradicate most of the shadows that my subject might cause to the background so here the shadows may be there but because i have a big light source dedicated to just the background i was able to remove the possible shadows that might have cast against the background. And also as fail, I could have used another light source, but I decided to use a reflector to reduce the light setup that I had going on over there. Now down to the second tip, which is the last, which I said that I have a video dedicated to that is going to be a summary about that particular video. So check it out once again, so that if you want to learn more about it, you can have yourself a good treat. Okay, so this is basically a simple setup where I have a big backdrop made of a softbox so a large softbox it can be um, an octabox or a very huge reflective umbrella that has a diffusion panel in front of it so the diffusion panel serves as the white background which when the light shoots through it casts a very good light source from behind and it creates that large nice seamless and clean white background for you so you need of course another light source to bring out your already silhouetted subject so when you have your light source right in front of your subject which might of course be the key light you can hit your subjects from the lens direction towards the subject and your backdrop is going to also be of the softbox which is giving you a very nice rim light as well as seven as originally what we discussed before as the clean white backdrop so basically these two tips are mostly what i use anytime i'm shooting in the studio and i want a very clean backdrop but if you want to resort to post-production is also another way just that this will save you a lot of time in your production so yeah Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button. And as informative as the subsequent videos are going to be, do not forget to turn on the post notification button, which is very important. Do that. And yeah, I'm going to catch you next time. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down there. Let me know what you think. And you can also suggest future videos that you wish I make. And um, yeah, let's grow the community together. Until the next video, have a wonderful day. See ya.